It is a very special day. It is October 25th, 2020. Uh, I am Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. Oh, and that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. Welcome to Comes Out Loud, the Bear Podcast with Indeterminate Outlinks, episode number 575. And besides completely cracking up my cohorts right before we're going live, live, it's David's birthday! Woo! Happy birthday to you, which is a really boring song. Why so does done. it have to be so boring? When it's supposed to be celebratory. <laughs> there, there's a whole segment that Trevor Noah recorded for his between the between the scenes uh, for mm -hmm. for the Daily Show, where he talks about originally he he thought the Happy Birthday song was more like the uh, special donald's birthday song that was that disney did like years and years and years ago it's your birthday it's donald's birthday happy birthday happy birthday to you that sort of thing okay do you remember mm -hmm. that vaguely and, and, and it was going but well meanwhile our traditional happy birthday song is this slow dr drawn out song anyways that's the same yeah. point hey uh, you know, it's that time of the month. Let's do this. D&D, uh, &D, uh, Sentai, uh, a new opportunity at work, and I'm on staycation for the next couple of days, even though that Shadowlands is not actually coming out. Uh, it was the next couple of days. Need to leave that, which was the original reason why I took took vacation time. And but that's about it. Damon, is that a new opportunity? Yeah, I got a new opportunity at work. Uh, oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, um, it, it hasn't like we're... officially started, but anyways, I was um... just trying to get through because I wanted to give plenty and plenty of time to the birthday boy. Oh, okay. Because it, it, great. You know, for all intents and purposes, nothing happened for me. Uh, same old, same old. Okay. Anyway. Um. Well. Uh. So I also am. I'm technically on off work. Um. I took off through November third. Um. So I'm taking a well. To me, I'll be honest. Well deserved vacation. <laughs> <laughs> some some time off to just like relax. Uh, for a few days, and then um, I am going to DC um, area um, to see AJ at the end of the week. Um, I'm many mid like kind of excited and anxious because you know there's a pandemic going on, so it's kind of that whole like feeling. But I'm really just thinking of just like we're just gonna hang out, and that's kind of it. You know, maybe we'll do dinner once or something like that, but nothing too big. Nothing too major. It's just mostly to kind of get away for a little while. That makes sense. Um, and then um, while that's been going on, um, the chorus has been doing really well. We've been getting things together. Um, I think Gary shared it with the Entourage chat. We did our first ever virtual video, um, choral video for um, the song virtual Unwritten. Concert. Yeah, well, it's our virtual video. We're it's the precursor to our virtual concert for the oh, ho okay. holiday. Con We're going to do our, our a virtual concert for the holiday season um, in December. But it was kind of like a, how does this all work? What all can you do? Like, can everyone kind of get involved and do it? And that's kind of what we um, did for that. And we've been rehearsing. I think I've talked about it a couple of times um, virtually since September. Um, and we're well on our way. Um, we've actually were, there is a plan in place for like video for everyone to get their videos in so that they can then be edited their video and audio, excuse me, cause that's how we're going to do it. We're going to do audio first and then videos to kind of give it that 
feel of so that the the, the video can be um, edited so that it kind of gets that holiday kind of feel. So I'm hoping that's what they're doing. And it should be fun. Um, we've got co- well, not costumes. We have ideas and a a what you wear like a costume for each kind of song, and then um, you know just doing the video. I'm um, the uh, video. I keep switching words. The audio first, um, and which is not too bad if you're not overly concerned about being perfect, which is kind of the big thing. So. If you're ever in like a virtual um, audio concert kind of situation, I don't know if any of our members are, our listeners are, but um, you don't have to be perfect because believe it or not, auto-tune is a thing and even a little can go a long way. So you don't have to be like on perfect pitch the entire song because normally if you think about a choir it's a blend of voices, um, mostly on pitch, um, <laughs> that kind of gives the, the 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 sound of like a choir. It gives that you know um, fun kind of feel to it. If everyone sang perfectly every single fucking time, it might not have that beauty and nuance to it. Um, but the hope for this is that it will, you know, come out and it'll be a really great thing. Um, we're doing um, our con- our holiday concert theme is hung with care. Uh, we're definitely going into our 30th anniversary triple X um, kind of theme, hard and heavy, with our first concert of the season. Oh, so pun intended. Uh, totally intended. Yes. Okay, yeah, I was totally, I was snickering totally just because because my mind is dirty, but it was actually meant to be it be intended. It's 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 meant to be tongue in cheek. It is definitely meant to be tongue in cheek. Like that's kind of been our brand um, for many years, off and on, because um, it's you know it's it's the holidays aren't always the greatest time for the LGBTQ community. So the concerts have often been this mix of naughty and nice. Like we've done some very beautiful songs and beautiful arrangements and, you know, had the tearjerkers and the, the, the wonderful like choral moments that are just like orally pleasing as it were. And we've done like the, the, the fun, you know, like definitely meant to be body or our you know punny or jokey kind of things as well so so that's so you're trying to be orally pleasing and orally pleasing exactly <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah um so the concert should be fun um i'm gonna like obviously because i'm gonna be out of town this week i'm gonna be taking a break from some rehearsals well actually just one so should be It'll, like I said, it'll be nice, but I'm already got done what needs to get done that needs to be turned in before this week. So I already turn it in before I leave. So good job. That's me, Gary. Well, happy birthday, Miss Thing. Thank you. Um, hope you get your birthday lickings that you want. And. <laughs> Yeah, it's been fun. I will admit, I've I've liked this time off and not really being doing too much. Like that's what I usually do for my birthday. Um, so, yay, Gary. I'm looking forward to mine uh, coming up soon, only because I too will be taking uh, some time off. So, nice. I, uh, I've already got approval through work for several days off, and. Um, my life has been rather busy of uh, the most recent, and I'm tired, and I wanted to add. So. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to November because it means this craziness of my life uh, the past week and this week will stop, mm-hmm. and then very quickly into the beginning of the next month, I will be off. So, yeah. Mm. Um, so I have a question, and it's really rhetorical. <laughs> Self-murder isn't illegal, is it? 
<laughs> so, well, to clarify to people, this is not suicide. <laughs> this is legitimately taking one's own life in an act of uh, violent thought, I guess. <laughs> And I'll explain. So this isn't meant to trigger anybody. Um, so uh, here's my other question. Have y'all ever done anything and realized that your misery, um, your frustration, your anger is your own creation? Definitely. That you kind of fucked something up so much so that you wanted anything in the world to blame other people. In fact, you could blame someone else, but the reality is you're the one to blame because it's going to come back on something that you didn't do or maybe you did do. Potentially, yeah. That's so that was my morning for work. Uh-oh. <laughs> I worked four hours this morning, and within the first couple of minutes, I opened a spreadsheet file that I have been working on for over seven months of the pandemic and quickly realized that somebody had modified it. Mm. since I had last touched it on Friday. And I have to own that it's my fault that they screwed it up because they did what they did. And while they can be held accountable for saving it after they modified it, they really didn't have permission to do that. Mm. And the reason why I'm the one to blame is because I didn't make a backup of it like I should have. Mm. Mm. So for some reason, someone decided that they wanted to alpha sort all the data. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh. So I can't undo what they've done. Oh, no. Everything was not organized by name, nor was it organized by an identifiable number because associations were made and grouped together based on out outlying data that doesn't have its own field. Mm. So instead of having a spreadsheet that has like, you know, 37 columns of data, I'm primarily working in about 10 and I'm text field writing into them connections between different things mm. so they 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 they, they foobarred it they jacked it up and i mm. can't get it back to where it was on friday so mm -hmm. i wrote a three paragraph text message telling uh someone in epidemiology how i was in such a rage i wanted to basically kill somebody um and i know exactly who did it because in the properties of the file it tells me the name of the person that last modified and saved it <laughs> And I, I was just so upset and frustrated, and I spent three hours um, – warning, swear words coming. Um, I spent three hours motherfucking out loud <laughs> because <laughs> I discovered the last time I, I saved the big file as a backup in a different location was October 1st, so I lost basically three weeks. Oh, no. Of my work that I had been doing throughout those – like, it's not all gone. But this, it's this isn't in it, a, a a Google Docs ish sort of system which keeps a running version history. No, 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 no. We can't do that. Google's not secure. Well, I, I'm uh, not saying Google, but because I think right, even right. some of those it's not cloud based. Like, it's Excel. It's yeah, Microsoft. It, but I think like the the, the 365 does a, a similar sort of thing that to Google right. Sheets where multiple people can be working on the same same sheet and then has a version history so the, right. if this is all offline stuff and only internal servers that's where the problem comes in right. yeah so i decided today after i tried for three hours to begin to fix it and here's the reason why i'm so upset because i'm supposed to work part-time all day all week this week because i'm moving my dad's stuff out of his apartment and getting it ready for turnover at the end of the week so I'm already – like today was to catch up for the weekend, so I would be on task for tomorrow, and instead I got none of that done. Mm -mm. And now I will end up spending tomorrow still trying to dig out and fix. Mm -mm. So, yeah, I 
So I might give up. I might end up working straight through tomorrow and sacrifice my half day uh, of time off and get it back. And, you know, just uh, anyways. So I, I'm, that's why I have a question. <laughs> Self-murder <laughs> isn't illegal, is it? Because if yeah. there was anybody that I should have killed, it would be me because I did it to myself. I didn't make the backup for the past three weeks. So if I'd made the backup on Friday right before I left, I could have fixed it in less than five minutes. But mm. instead, it is probably going to take me uh, as a wild guess, somewhere between 16 to 20 hours to just fix it. Eesh. Only I don't have 16 to 20 hours to fix it. So, yeah. That, it's a big mess. Yeah. It's a big mess. Mm. So, I did it to myself. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm not okay. very happy yeah, about just, that. Just, yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll get it done. Yeah, you'll it's kind of like out. this this series of, of, of stacking murders. It's like try, trying to be like, okay, who's, who's at fault for actually doing the thing that screws everything up? That was the person who made the edit. But right. that could have been, pre but you could have prevented any problem with them making that edit if you had made a backup. So it's kind Correct. of like a, uh, uh, if you had made the backup, then what they did they, they doesn't, doesn't really matter. So, okay, so they won't die. Now I'm going to have to kill myself because I, I just, just because of the thing. I, it's, I don't necessarily think it's like killing yourself. It's more of like I, it, one of those, uh, I could just die or I just wish I was <laughs> <laughs> right now because of the fucking... yeah, I just I can't I can't make the impossible happen. I can't go back in time. Mm. I don't have a time turner. I don't have a time machine. I have nothing to be able to go back to 425 p.m. on Friday and say to myself like a whisper in the ear, anything to give myself a message to be like a, a, a choke hold on yourself and you shaking to yourself. Fucking, you back, fucking up back up. <laughs> You just need to. You just need to do a little archive backup of that. Just like a, a Spidey sense message from the future would have been so helpful. But mm. I didn't. And it, so this is like I haven't told anybody yet. Um, I put that Excel file under a password lockdown on purpose right now, which of course is probably going to piss some people off, and I don't care because I imagine when I talk, when I when I discuss it in tomorrow morning's team call, and I mentioned what happened and how it really messes things up and it puts me behind i'm probably going to be told by the person who did it i don't know them personally i know of their name um because they're newer higher and they're uh, working in a different location than i am mm. i have a feeling mm -hmm. that they might get a little defensive which is why i'm having a hard time talking about it because i'm very defensive and emotional myself and I think they're going to say that it wasn't easy to find what they were looking for. I realized that. But the file wasn't for you. The file was mine and I was using it. And if you had just reached out and asked, I would have been happy to oblige. And happy explain. To help. But for alpha sort... And here's the thing is, so they filter viewed all the columns, but only sorted some of them. David gets it. <laughs> so that's how jacked up it is, is because some of the columns didn't get modified or sorted at all, and others did, and I can't reverse it because oh they saved it, and they're the ones that did it. And I'm just like, mm -hmm. uh, okay. So it's There's been a no long time going. since like I've a... had a major foobar in my professional life. This is and here we are. This is like a, a, a thing where it's like I, I just imagined after I did it that like all of us had face palmed at the exact same time. It's like, well, why do you why do you filter view only a certain number of columns? <laughs> I'm like. I, I don't a, understand that. The, it's like, don't you filter view everything? <laughs> and I imagine they're going to be like, well, I'm looking for this person's me. name. At which point I want to say, control F, F. bitch. <laughs> Find, search for the name. 
that you're looking for. <laughs> Unless you were looking for all of the people that have the same last name, maybe. I don't know. Then, like, but the thing is, is that I have become the keeper of this thing. And now it's it's basically broken. Like, I made a copy of the file as is. And I, at the end of the name of the file, I put underscore broken. And that one anybody can touch right now. Because I'm like, you made it. You deal with it. I have a different version that I have now password protected that I am going to attempt to fix. It will take quite a while. And it, it's so, one of those things where it's almost yeah. like one other solution they could have done was, okay, I don't want to mess with this, this thing. So what I'm going to do is just make a copy that I can do whatever uh -huh. the fuck I want. Uh -huh. Want on that way it it avoids uh -huh. changing something in the original. So, yeah. Yeah. but again, See, that, that was, was another thought. Hindsight, I had. Hindsight, hindsight, twenty twenty. <laughs> or how about when you save the file, fucker? Like, or when you close the file, don't save it. Why did you save it to the central server? Like, you're you're a person who never touches this or has anything to do with it. So. All hell's gonna break loose tomorrow, probably when I when I discuss it, and I'm going to probably try so hard on mute to be as professional as possible in discussing this. And I'm pretty Can sure. Can I ask a question? <laughs> you are welcome. Just a tiny, to ask tiny questions. question. <laughs> will this be a video call? It's a Zoom. It is. Yes, I, I will be on camera. Because. Yeah. <laughs> At least then you can mute. If it were not video, you can mute and just go, fuck it, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like you can let your frustrations out, like as things are going, and then unmute yourself and then be like, well, you know, dear. Yeah. There are certain things they, that just could have been done yourself, differently. Just uh, turn off your, your video, do your thing. <laughs> well, and, and I guess my turn on your is... Well, I'm also trying to rein right in my OCD issue and my control issues because because my analogies are all like, bitch, do I come into your house and rearrange your kitchen? No. <laughs> Why? Because it's your house. Mm. It's mm. the file I've been TV. working on since the, like, the beginning of April. Mm -mm. Like if somebody else created it, but I took it over and everybody knows that. And I get that it has 17 different fucking colors and not everybody understands the stuff that's in it. But that's because y'all don't have to look at it day in and day out every minute of your working life. So, and I didn't have the time to spell out what teal means versus lime green versus light green versus pink versus like darker pink versus magenta. You know what I mean? It's like. It all yeah. makes sense to me. You just have to ask me the question. Just don't fuck, don't fuck with it. Just don't fuck with it. That that's one of the reasons why I'm so glad that I work on a Google property where everything is in Google Docs, which is automatically saved every few minutes and can always be restored from a backup, which probably was done done mere seconds ago. <laughs> Not helping. I know. Yeah. I know. Anyway. Sounds like you were advertising for work. Appreciate it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I just. Did, I know I can't. This is not an advertisement person. for Google, and two, yes, I don't it, technically work for Google. Doesn't matter. Anyway. <laughs> I work for another company anyway. that's hired by Google. Anyway, let's move it on. Helps you get a paycheck. Yes. So <laughs> the uh, yeah, so I, so I can't kill them. I mean, I could, but <laughs> no. morally and the, all the, the rest, <laughs> the ability to is there now because this is now murder. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, premeditated. That's a problem. That. Um, although nobody knows who this person is right now, so that's semi a mystery. Um, no, and and so yeah, I just in the end, like I just you know, I I hit like nuclear level of pissosity with myself because I did it to myself. Had I done the backup on Friday, it wouldn't have been a big deal at all. In fact, I probably would have just carried on and left the file the way it is. And made a different version and then on tomorrow morning's call say, hey, by the way, if anybody ever needs some information and doesn't understand how to find it, you should ask and not save it how you think it should be because you have now broken all the connections 
because you don't know about how it was built or why it looks the way it does. So, yeah. Thanks. Who does that? Appreciate hey, it. You wonder and then, why um, having I... problems with this this stock? It's because everybody's been locked out because it's been fucked up. It's not your well, fault. It's somebody and, else's and fault. It's a good reminder lesson because we had this conversation months ago about how other people have fucked up other spreadsheets. And so, like, you know, one of the epidemiology supervisors did say to me, you know, we should always be making backups of stuff in a different location just to be safe. Because too many mm -hmm. people have access to this location. Yeah. And we've had some things disappear. And then we had to go find them because someone didn't realize. What it comes down to is... Um, less skilled windows users or software individual like application users do things and then they don't realize what they're doing and then you're like great thanks so while it is a minimum requirement on the resume or the job requisition to know how to use something it does not mean you actually know very well how to use it you just know that you can use it if that makes sense here we go so yeah it's kind of like me going to culinary school. Gary, can Imagine you make an omelet? Sure. Can you make a French omelet? No. I haven't perfected it, but, you know, there's a difference. I would know the difference. Anyways, so there's that, and I'm dealing with the stress of moving my dad and all that kind of jazz, and, you know, there's the politics and all the other things that are happening. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's kind of been the month, and... Here we are. Thank you guys and folks in the chat for the kind words and all that. I appreciate it. So. Beat her ass. Drag her. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, should we go on to the next part here? Yeah, I think we should. Sure. Right. Move it on into. One of my favorite jingles. Because it has one of my favorites done by my one of my favorite artists. Gary, what's been going on over the Facebooks? Uh, over at Facebook land, we have one new like from Alistair Page. Okay. Mm. Hey, thanks. Uh, we also have two new Instagram followers this month. Arhina39 and Verdon Artist 67 mm. So Thank you. Welcome. I guess on there. And over in the YouTubes. Uh, we got two new YouTube subscribers, a Benjamin Mosley and a Robert Hall. Welcome. I think I know Robert. I think pretty sure who I know is. Um, and then we got two comments, um, both for our um, episode um, COL 573, which was National Coming Out Day. Um, Ranger King 669, Rangers King, excuse me, 669 said, the NBA does a whole bunch of pride campaigns and offer basketball clinics. They just don't make uh, NCOD videos. For example, they did one with Reggie Bullock and Jason Collins recently. The other thing to consider with sexuality is that non-binary folks factor into all this too, and that can make things more complicated. Yeah, again, NCOD is... A celebration of coming out. We offer encouragement to do it, but we always always say you do it when you are ready. And yeah. just know that we're there to support. Um, and then um, nice the Nash Productions wrote by now gay later lol brilliant, great show lots of big emotions. That was the that phrasing is not a uh, original thing. I picked it up from somewhere a long, long time ago, and I'm like, "Hey, that was kind of, kind of how I went." Yeah, and, and, I had heard it too. At you know when I was coming out, so yeah, yeah, it's it definitely a thing that you've heard. Yeah. To be fair, yeah. it, this is not an applicable thing for for everyone. Sometimes it's by now and that's it. <laughs> so just just to say. They did not yeah. to say that that the that not to invalidate buys are totally fine. But just a personal man. Just, just don't want to offend anybody. 
Uh, over, over in the Twitterverse, we had Matt, we have following us Max Stouts, uh, Politic Queer. Mm. Close now. Politic Queer, something like that. And Colin Jasons. Welcome to following us in our semi spuddy following. Yeah. It hasn't been long since our last What's Going On show. Was it? Has it, Gary? No. Uh, <laughs> in fact, we just did the What's Going On for September a couple weeks ago. Um, and literally, like, uh, if you believe in a couple being two and or three. Uh, <laughs> so 572 was What's Going On for September 2020. Then we did uh, the What Is NCOD for National Coming Out Day. And then last week, we had a Let's Talk About Food Spoopy edition. Spoopy. I don't know how spoopy it was, but eh, it was cute. We were uh, all on it. The uh, TV. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and we're pretty scary, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> oh. I, I mean, seriously, who wouldn't want to eat this? I rest See? my case. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. I, I did get ingredients. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, of of last week week show, we were talking about how like hearty soups and, uh, and mm. stews and stuff. Mm-hmm. I did get the ingredients for a slow cooker chicken pot pie stew recipe. Hmm. Huh. So can I? I'm going to ask a question because I I'm very curious. Does it have anything res- related to crust? Like, like any kind of dough-ish like ingredient, like maybe like biscuits or anything along those lines or something. I one one second here. Oh, he's looking it up. Okay. (laughs) Uh, uh, Are are you, Damon? Are you wondering about the pot pie concept? If there's no crust. Yes. Okay. Or nothing crust related, like okay. croutons, something. <laughs> <laughs> I derailed the show. Yeah. Well, and, and also for some reason, my all recipes app is taking forever to to, to load it. Ah, on both my phone awesome. and my iPad. So, well, we can keep going, and then we'll going. find out. Let's uh, do that. I um I thought of something recently. Speaking of like the food thing, mm. um, and now I can't remember what it was. I came across a recipe. Oh 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 oh! I sent it to you guys. The um the sliced apple version mm-hmm. of the candied apple. Yeah. Concept. Yeah, I saw and, that. And so I'm kind of curious, like if you think that's an a more amenable, like, or enticing or acceptable version. Like, so basically, to for our listeners, because um, we don't have any pictures at the moment, uh, you take, a, like, a large apple that would normally be candified, mm-hmm. whether it be, like, with, um, you know, the hard red cinnamon uh, shell or chocolate or caramel or whatever, but you cut it into thirds from top to bottom. So you basically get, like, three really thick slices. And then you skewer each of those, and then from there you... Um, Damn it. Dip it and coat it and, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. I could stuff. see it being a thing, potentially. I do like the idea because it's not as massive of an apple. But, you know, still. We'll see. I'd have to look at it more and kind of make a decision. Because mm-hmm. I, Although I like the concept, though. I do like the concept, I will admit. Right. So it's not pulling up because uh, all the yeah. speed is currently laggy right now. Um, uh, but uh, uh, I don't think it does. So it's basically kind of taking what would be inside the pie and making it into a stew. So the the, the pot pie thing is more of inspiration on the stew than it is actually being a simulation made into a stew. Slow cooker chicken pot pie stew. Oh, I found it! Yay! 
Um, Shut up! I don't care about this. <laughs> I don't need your. I don't need your pop-ups. I just need to look at the damn. Yeah, the the movie. website okay. is awful, but yeah, the website kind of gives the. I get what it's going with. No, there is not. It's funny though when I looked at the picture, they have poured it next to biscuits. So okay. Yeah. So so it's probably not necessarily part of the stew, but yeah. It, it's, it's the make. It's essentially the innards of a chicken pot pie made into a stew, yeah. and then if you want, you can maybe serve it with like a biscuit, a bread, a toast, a something to kind of give it that texture to, to get the crust. Probably a biscuits. Puff pastry. We pro yeah. Probably biscuits would be great because you could use this kind of like in a biscuits and gravy sort of thing, where yeah. you basically just kind of like pour the stew over over the biscuits and then you would kind of have the the, the cross part because yeah. you know whenever i have a pot pie I'll, all i do is i just throw the entire pot pie into one of my uh bowls that yeah. i absolutely love and then just just break up the crust and just mix everything together so yeah or i do it so anyways that's that uh, I think it's time for uh, uh, something a little naughty with. <laughs> All right, that's enough uh, to avoid copyright claims. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm just calling this. So, uh, uh, Patreon doesn't flag it as po po possibly pornographic. <laughs> I'm just calling it more chunk. Mm. And it's uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, Twitter people, Chunk, who I think is absolutely adorable. He says, I, I think I've drained myself for the day. This is my fourth load and could still use, use some help with the fifth. Wow. And it's just him uh, sure. masturbating with a masturbator. Yeah. Masturbating <laughs> with the masturbator. Yes. He's using a toy. Time. And of course, yeah. he does his signature, like, tongue thing in the middle of it. Uh-huh. Where are you? But he's absolutely adorable. It's one of my, my favorite people on Twitter. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. I remember he's... sending this to somebody on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it from a Twitter retweet that I did? Um, I sent it, like, I don't know if you had posted or somebody else posted it or if I if I initially saw it, but I was like, I know who would like this. <laughs> and then sent it on. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But, yeah, I like Chunk. Nice. Nice. Um, so I have two. One is definitely, you know, in relation to the sexy part. It's Mr. Um, Big Red XXX. Um, come on. There you go. Yeah. Oh, X excuse me. Big Red XXXX. Four X's. There's four X's. Pardon me. Um, and it's, this one was Sunday evening R&R. &R. Um, he's just lounging on the couch being his cute um hunky stocky red bearded self them arms yeah mm -hmm. that, that belly that mm -hmm. that bald mm -hmm. mm -hmm. now See, the like, wasn't wearing underwear oh if you look at his profile you can oh i don't wait uh, i'm Is just he, talking no, about I think this, he's... this the picture itself. yeah I'm just trying to think if he if he actually shows off. I don't know if he does or not. I can't remember. It's been a while since I I see his stuff every now and then, but I you know anyway. Let me just say so yeah, this. he he's I I know we frequently do this with you, Damon, but he's checking out a little bo uh, all the boxes for me too. There oh yeah, done. for sure. It's like check check for check, check. sure. It's like and then belly, uh, beard bald. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. just kind of like overall stock. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 
50 people that I follow on Twitter also follow him. <laughs> Just so are you saying, following him now? For the record, what's really funny is I'm going through all of them to see if the one person that I think should be following him is or is isn't. Because right now his husband's already following him, and that's ironically <laughs> funny to me. <laughs> but... I'm like, oh, you ain't following him? That's weird. Hmm. Hmm. How do you suggest to follow somebody to another friend? If you... I don't think you can. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you can. You might be able I'll to. Link your profile. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe I can do this. Okay. I'll be linked to profile and then send a message. There you go. Why ain't you following him? <laughs> your husband is. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of. I mean, trashy. Why would I do that? <laughs> because why not? Yeah. Uh, anyway, so my other one is actually not sexy at all. Uh, well, I mean, it is sexy in some ways. So um, it's called Surprise. And if it will click open for me, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, but if you remember. The Try Guys from, I think, BuzzFeed and all of those places. So there's Eugene um, Lee Yang, um, and he does, um, this is a video of him doing, he had recently, um, like, posted his um, awesome um, cosplay of, of um, Zuko from La Avatar The Last Airbender. And this kind of takes it to another level, this video. So, yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. It took me a moment to realize what he was he was doing there. Yeah. For some so reason, the, I, for some reason, my initial thought was was he was doing Mulan. Um, oh. No. It, it, but then then I'm like, oh. Um, but it is, he is, um, I wanted to give people a little bit of time. So this is the wipe, um, uh, if you've seen on TikTok, there's this, ver there's basically this video of this song and then you're wiping a mirror and you wipe it and then you're another persona or something along those lines. I've seen it with drag queens. I've seen it with other cosplayers. Um, I've seen it with like kink folk that go from like basically their 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 um white collar lives to their kinky lifestyles it's kind of fun but this one in particular um so i've given hopefully given people enough time to watch it um is um he goes from zuko um to azula um zuko's sister and it's really awesome i really fucking love this one so that's why i wanted to share it Nice. Yeah. And one of my favorite things of the whole piece is the fact that he is using an orange um, wiping rag as Zuko. And when it's Azula, it becomes blue because Azula always threw blue fire. Or blue lightning. Oh, wow. Well, she, was, she was blue fire. She was blue fire. Her oh, fire was blue. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Her fire was blue. I didn't even notice that. Oh, yeah. Like, I don't know who these characters are, but I saw the <gasps> video because so many people shared Sorry. it, and they were like, oh, my God, this is a great. And I was like, okay, like, it's a, it's one of those white videos that's kind of cool. Go you. Mm -hmm. Like, but the towel, the towel detail is actually really good. And now that you said that, David, because I'm watching it, and it's, cause it's not very long. It's like 17 seconds. And I was like, oh, shit, girl. Like, <laughs> like that's, that's. Yeah. That's pretty damn good. I just gay gasped. Why? Well, I... I found out that Gary hasn't seen Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> you don't know who there's, just, there's a lot I haven't seen. That. That. That and and uh, Legend of Korra. You, you, have to, you have to see. They're so yeah. good. 
Okay. They so I'm going to let you know what my priorities so in my life are. No, no, no. I'm going to let you know what my priorities in my life are. Okay. Getting laid, and <laughs> then I might get around to watching those. That, that's fine. I so, can understand so when the first that. first one happens, <laughs> so when the first one happens, then you can start watching it. Like, you, you're, you're satisfied. You've gotten you've gotten that little fix that you needed, because good lord, yeah. Ain't um, little. <laughs> more than a fix. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. You got you, you you got that yeah you got it you got it you got it got it got it got in it. The, and in the then, time when you have downtime and you can't get laid because of a pandemic, no, no this is I, this is one of the things that that you, that you could that you can watch. I believe right now uh, they're all on Netflix. I think I'm not yes. sure if they're still up there, but they're all on Netflix, so you can easily binge it. There's. <laughs> The, the anyway. Ziggler doesn't show up until like the middle of chapter two. Uh, the uh, book he two. shows up at the end of of um, book. She's in book two because they, there's a lot of Earth Kingdom stuff that she's a part of. I think she shows up at the end of book one. Okay. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, he will watch it when he gets laid. After he gets laid, he will, that's when that's when Gary will watch it. So but when's that going to happen? We still enter in a pandemic. Anyway, I mean, I suppose you can uh, still get laid during the pandemic, but it's ladies? a little more hey, 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 iffy. For the record, I've never seen something about Mary. So if that gives you any context, neither have I. <laughs> Wait, and that movie was how many years ago? Do you know how much grief I've gotten for that for people? What? I can't believe you've never seen that. Yeah. There's a lot well, of things I haven't seen. Well, I still have that. I probably never will. The, 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 the difference between these is is that, uh, one, hey, something about Mary please. is an embarrassing comedy, which is <laughs> totally something that I actually have the inabilities of watching. And two, is Titanic that I'll, I, I think people have just gotten used to the fact that I, that I haven't they, seen it. Uh, just because of the, I, I grew up when it came out. I was in, it was in high school and came out and, uh, high school girls, uh, when it came out were insufferable twits. So, uh, which totally got me off wait. to even wanting to see it. So those, no, no, those are two of mine. So wait. this, this is something else. Moving on. No, wait, 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 not links. <laughs> Gary, what do you have? Are moving on. Oh, something. My, my something. My, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Because birthday boy apparently just wanted to jump right over that. Well, let's just <laughs> whatever. Move on. I'm trying to move the show fucking on. <laughs> now you understand how I feel. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, so I have two. The first one is called "All Right." Which one of you made this? Oh God. I thought it was funny. Oh my. Oh, oh, I have seen this. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bode and Rob is well known in, you know, the social media kind of circle stuff um, for, you know, being a, uh, an, a heartthrob of mm. individuals. So, somebody mashed up a, a video of him showering with a scene from an 80s movie and i think i know what movie it's from but i'm confused because the overlay music is weird science but i don't know if that's the actual film this footage is from because i saw weird science once back in the 80s <laughs> i think it might be i think it might be but i could be so wrong it's been so it's, it's so long since I've seen that movie. <laughs> it's so funny because these two young boys are in a shower watching somebody shower. Only every time that the film cut to whoever the person was, they put in footage of Boat and Rob in the shower lathering up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's phenomenally funny. Like, and so, so, so funny. All right. Daniel says in the live chat, it is for weird science. Thing. It is for weird science. <laughs> I just, I thought it was the shit. I was like, now that's a funny, like, you know, kind of meme uh, thing to put together. 
Because mm -hmm. that my favorite thing is like I want to see everybody do it. Like I want to see everybody put in their video cuts <laughs> from, <laughs> from like hot shower scenes or whatever instead. So yeah, there's that. Fine for me. Uh, I also want to give a shout out. Now, see, this is me like you know recognizing things in pop culture that are fun online. I just don't know them. Uh, in this case, so wait, 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 wait. Why did you know? No, 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 this is not right. <laughs> None of this uh -oh. is right. Hang on. This uh -oh. link is not working. Oh, it's, no. It's pulling up, like, everything that has that hashtag. Oh, no. Yeah, because you put the link about the hashtag. No, I tried to link the actual page that this is from, but apparently it's being a twat. So, hang on. Because, uh, you know, it's Twitter. You find it again. Get it? Anyway, <laughs> I thought you were doing the link. Tag. Make a new link. Paste. Apply. Try that one on for size. So it's called hashtag new profile pick, but also wanted to share some more of my Sailor Mars cosplay. And this is at Danny Plays Games, aka Make Me the Bad Guy Chun Li. <laughs> And I thought this was so fun to see um, of him in this Sailor Moon universe, <laughs> like, look. Yeah. But I don't think Sailor Mars wears a harness and, like, thigh harnesses. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. But it's just too good. I was like, that's that's amazing. Like and and a little yeah. hot, you know. So yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm I'm a fan. Although I'm 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 a stickler for like if you're gonna cosplay, you know, let's get a steam iron to that fucking skirt. Cause <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but that's just me. <laughs> it looks like a, a a very plastic -y skirt though. So if you put the steam iron, it might melt. No, if, well, you, I don't, if you just steam it, it should yeah. help. Like a water, like, like a cooler. Anyway, anyway, that's just me just being a dick because it's, you know, it's a wrinkled skirt. Like, anyway. Yeah, I agree. But other than but that, do like, we know I love, how it got wrinkled? Anyways. Mm, uh, well, if it, were, <laughs> if it were an actual magical costume, it wouldn't be wrinkled. Oh, oh shady. <laughs> Hashtag true. <truth. laughs> Anyway, uh, but yeah, I do. I really do like this picture. I actually like this. Um, I actually liked and retweeted this um, um, tweet because he's adorable. Uh, you know, yeah, he's very adorable. And I and I'm a big fan of of the Sailor Moon, Sailor Mars, you know, Sailor, um, the anime. So perfect. Um, because yeah. And it's fun. I do like the the additional the adding of the of the harnesses um, as just like kind of fun little kinky elements to kind of play a little tongue in cheek with it. I do like that. Yeah. So I thought that was yeah. fun. Yeah. And he's cute. That's a mm -hmm. that's a that's an adorable little smile. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Mm hmm. His uh his content isn't pornographic enough for me to uh, uh follow. <laughs> follow. I'm That's sure okay. He's a great guy. He oh, probably has. Absolutely hot. He he might have an after dark one that we just don't know anything about. I mean, <laughs> or he could just be a he could just be a cosplayer that just he, enjoys he sharing their stuff. Corgi, you know. But that's an actual corgi. Yeah. Yeah. He could be. He could totally be. We do not know and we will not assume. Yeah. We would just hope. He's just adorable. I will give him that much. Yeah. There you go. Absolutely. Moving on. Hey, folks. Um, I'm a fan of the Super Sentai series, uh, Kazook Sentai Gokaiger, which is a tribute to the 34 years 
uh, being the 35th Sentai, uh, and mm -hmm. the 30, 34 teams before it, uh, as well as being teams themselves. In fact, they have their own grand power. Um, one of the episodes uh, was their Jetman episode, and it, and there was a thing about oh this one Jetman there was a controversy on on what happened to to him. Well, uh, Children's Sentai uh, Jetman is uh, licensed in the U.S. by Shout Factory, who happens to partner up with a service called Verve, VRV. That show, and quite a few more uh, Sentai shows, is available on Verve for free but with ads. If you want to get rid of the ads, pay for premium. Hmm. I mean, just like you would pay for YouTube premium. <laughs> you know, don't want the ads on YouTube? Pay for YouTube premium, no ads. Uh, Verve, don't want ads? Do for for pre premium. They got a, a shitload of other content, which is really cool too. Um, but uh, there's a bunch of. But if you would like to take a look at Sentai of the '90s and early 2000s, um, check out Fur because they've got Jetman, they've got uh, Zero Ranger, which is where Power Rangers started, and then all up to I think the latest one they have is Gingaman. Uh, no, it's because Time Ranger is after that. So and it, they have Time Ranger. I don't, I don't remember where the latest was, but uh, which reminded me, I, I mentioned to Pup Zio that the original of Zio, uh, uh, O Ranger, is also in for. So um, I've been going back and kind of uh, watching some of that stuff just to kind of get back into that because I've been watching fan subs of since Decca Ranger uh, which is the SPD equivalent for those who don't know the the cor correlation between Power Rangers and Super Sentai mm -hmm. and needless to say Super Sentai is better than Power Rangers it's just, it just is well it's what it came from so of course it is <laughs> Like, I mean, and, and don't get I me wrong, mean, there are some good Power Ranger seasons. I love Dino Thunder. Cool. But anyway, moving on. Same time, sir. Burf. Gary? What did you uh, find on Netflix? <laughs> <laughs> two things. Um, I haven't had an opportunity to watch a whole lot this month, but uh, if you like documentaries, and you have an interest, are a fan, a fanatic, um, something of that sort about the great Dolly Parton. Mm -hmm. There is a documentary called Dolly Parton, colon, Here I Am. And it's good. Like, I've always liked her, liked her music, but it's, um, it's just really kind of fun to see her talk about her career and her background and, um, different aspects of that and then it put me on a youtube uh hole where i ended up watching a bunch of different things about her career because she's she's kind of doing a media thing right now um she's doing a bunch of like presser stuff uh so i was catching her doing interviews and talking to different people and so some of the stories you know are, are kind of the same but luckily you know each interview they kind of go a little different angle and get some different stuff so that i really really enjoyed and i sent it to friends of mine who i know like dolly parton and i was like you need to see this and then of course a couple of them were like we already saw it last night and i was like God damn. <laughs> uh and then last night i watched season three of my next guest needs no introduction with david letterman um mm. i was not a david letterman watcher like the late show with david letterman mm -hmm. however i've always known who he is um i'm not necessarily a fan of his kind of his style of comedy but i do appreciate that somebody who has been in that kind of a job that capacity that television show uh for late night for decades you do become a refined interviewer in a way mm -hmm. um i would not compare him to barbara walters or oprah but in his own way he 
has interesting like ways he wants to get to know people. So he, uh, after the show had you know stopped airing, went into retirement, so to speak. Um, he has a big white Santa Claus beard now. Uh, and this particular season three is four episodes long. It is uh, Kim Kardashian West, Robert Downey Jr., Dave Chappelle, and Lizzo. Mm. Um, Kim Kardashian West was a big surprise to me because I couldn't give two anythings uh, about her. <laughs> I mean, no disrespect. She just has no effect on me. Uh, but it was really interesting to watch her talk about her upbringing, her childhood, and um, they talk about the robbery in Paris, which I mm. don't really remember happening. And that was three years ago, um, mm. where uh, her life potentially was in danger. Uh, yeah, it was, it was really uh, insightful. And um, Robert Downey Jr. Like I learned a bunch about him and his current, like where he is now. They talk about his past, but where he is now and what's going on. And I was just like, okay, you're kind of wild and wacky, um, like a little bit eclectic. Dave Chappelle was amazingly insightful. He lives near me. I didn't know this. Uh, he lives in Ohio in a small town with his family um, in Yellow Springs. And uh, so I was like, really, of all the places in the U.S. you chose to live. But it makes sense because he kind of grew up in, in the area. Um, and then the last one was Lizzo. And I know I have lost all the gay points repeatedly when I tell people I didn't know who she was. I had no idea, was not following her, her music, her concerts or anything. So this inter interview was very interesting. Because if you want to talk about two people who are nothing alike, you got Lizzo and you have <laughs> David Letterman. <laughs> I mean, true. You've got big, black, beautiful, like multi-talented, you know, uh, individual. And then you've got older white guy, stand-up comedian, host, father. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like they, they're, yeah, yeah. they're, they're, they're very different. Um, but I really... Uh, I'm glad I watched this because I think I understand the appeal of her way better than mm -hmm. I did before. Because people tried to say to me, like, and they would actually have a little freak out and be like, what? You don't know Lizzo? And I'm like, no. <laughs> like, why should I? Just because, oh, <laughs> just because I'm gay? Just because I'm fat? Just because I like music? Like, that's presumptive. You know, that's kind of like saying, I mean, to me, that's kind of like saying, oh, you obviously know Nakia. No, not necessarily. You know, just because we Although, have some I would commonalities. Like to know uh, <laughs> yes, we know you already know him, Jeff, even biblically. We're well aware. That's about the yeah. anybody doing drinks at home. There's your shot or your bingo card. <laughs> uh, all I could say is, is I knew Nakia before he was famous. Or super famous, I should say. I understand. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. but, and yeah. and I, I don't That's I don't perfect. mean it that necessarily that way. I was introduced to him when I came, when I even first visited Texas. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I thought he was so, a nice guy. Uh, he was a local musician. That's about it. I got to know him online. I have not met him in person, uh, but what I got to know of him online, I was a fan. Um, a lot of that content's gone away, unfortunately. So, yeah. So, that does make me want to uh, work more on getting to know him in person. Like, if I had the opportunity to be in the same space as him, but, you know, pandemic and all that. Uh, I also do want to say this one last thing, and this isn't a, a pick. I want to recognize Jeff's announcement from a couple weeks ago about Carbon San Diego Season 3 on Netflix coming out. Because mm -hmm. I didn't know that they had, you know, revamped uh, it into a new animated series. And then uh, when my best friend Heather was here helping me with my dad and she was here for a number of days, we actually watched all three seasons over the course of a week um, wow. in the evenings. Uh, and uh, it's good. Like, it's fun. I Is it really so good? It. <laughs> Is I it have, great? What, uh, nah, nah, hold on. So good. Like, just <laughs> chill out. For a sec. Um, I, I, probably I, as a fan of the original games, I, I probably have a little bias to it. It's not little. Um, here's <laughs> here's the thing. <laughs> David. No, 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 no. That's not shade. That's tea. So here's here's the thing. And then we could like wrap up the show. I really like the shows and I'll continue to watch it as it can as it goes on, but 
there is one element of it that I remember from like the the previous iterations that bothers me. Because as much as they're trying really hard to use this moment to be educational, it is really obvious. And <laughs> as a mid forties like person, I'm like I'm not four decades less old. So it, it it like it just bothers me that we have these moments where we're learning something, and I'm like we don't need to do that. Like we could learn that a little bit easier through the course of the plot line as opposed to like, because they're trying to make it, it's a dossier. And even then that's where they're failing. Like they're not doing a good job of explaining why we're learning about the location we're going to, meaning the country, the culture, like these things that are very helpful. They're it's it's the one thing that I have a pet peeve about. I'm like, that's great. We're going to Brazil. And then they do this like two minute segment about Brazil and its background and its culture and stuff. And I'm like, it's kind of like putting on the brakes every time. And I'm like, you don't have to do that. Like you can find better ways to to fit the stuff and make more sense of things as opposed it, to. Yeah. yeah. I, again, this is this is probably because I'm used to the games where a lot of the game is partly you learn about the areas in order to figure out where to go next and right. even 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 uh, some of the things like even the 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 game show uh, uh with featuring rockapella's uh, theme song um uh, uh that was all about having these moments where they would discuss about things about the place the location the country etc so that part seemed very much in the bailiwick of where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Um, so to me, my perspective versus yours uh, is that it is very apropos of what this this thing is. I'm not saying that you're going to like it <laughs> or enjoy it. Well, I but, would. But that but I'm just saying I like that. Aspect. I would understand and respect the idea of the the like educational moments if this were a Saturday morning cartoon from the nineties. That's kind of what they're doing. Like that it was meant to be No, dear. <laughs> this is a two thousand you know, show T V show or cartoon on Netflix. Yeah, and and they're where trying to, you to take you back the whole to that thing. sort of thing. Right, right. But I understand where David's coming from, Jeff. I think our point is like you could binge, you could watch the whole season in one night if you wanted to. Mm. Well, sort of. Yeah. Like, and so the ability to absorb the facts and the information they're giving to you is less likely from an educational standpoint. So if the goal of yeah. the show is to be entertaining and educational, I think the educational part is kind of falling off to the side because. The concept of learning these things about these places they're going to and that kind of stuff, I think that's really diminished it, by kind of the way that they're going about and, it. Like if that's really the and, element they're trying to hold on to. Yeah. And it could and it could work. I'm kind of kind of feeling what I could see it working if it were more ingrained in the show. You know, like in the episode, you know. Although again, like there's to me like those big like pausey moments to me that it feels like like when <sighs> I remember the nineties version. The like the T V the where yeah, where on one? earth is Carp San Diego. Video. The cartoon, mm -hmm. yeah, the cartoon. Yeah. And that one obviously I was younger, it kind of worked in a sense. Like they mm -hmm. had to like solve puzzles and do things in order to find out where she's going and blah 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 blah. So it kind of worked in a sense they had to play they were actually talking to the player you know in this like <laughs> i don't even quite like real world like compute like fantasy work I, you know it's like it was this weird juxtaposition of like this like fantasy but there's a real human that's the player kind of thing and and everything and it it, it worked like because the player was essentially the one that was finding out the information so that the, 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 you know, um, their names just left my head. The kids. I was going to say Zach and Amy, but that's not right. <laughs> anyway, we know who you're, anyway, our, our two, kids, the kids. Two main characters. Zach and Ivy. Zach and Ivy. Anyway, 
anyway, those two. Um, so they would know what to like do exactly. And they kind of worked in that way, a la like to kind of dumb it down a whole lot, like Dora the Explorer. Where they're like getting information to the to the audience, but the audience, you know, is answering. And anyway, anyway, but that's kind of what I would I could see that potentially working, and somehow it's like more ingrained in the show. But this one is definitely a like like Jeff like Gary said, we're going to Brazil. Brazil has this and this, and this is their top you know you know like um, exporter and da 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 da, and it's like. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll agree to disagree. Anyway, that. but that's all right. Yeah, we it's, a that. it's a good show. In, in and the, I, yeah, it's a good and show. And I write it, and that's like I said, my only thing about it. I was like, eh. outside of that, you know, it is. Fun. It's fun, and I'm intrigued, and they have a really good multi-season plot line thing working. I'm not sure mm -hmm. how it's going to resolve itself. Um, mm -hmm. Because I've only started watching. I feel like once they handle the one thing, mm -hmm. there isn't much really to keep it going. So I'm wondering if like that's kind of intentional. Like when they know the series is not going to be renewed, if they know that in advance, then they can just kind of bookend it. Yeah, it'll be it'll uh, probably be an awkward like all of a sudden they saw they yeah. saw this you know thing or whatever but yeah. I don't know. Well, it's also a Netflix series, so it has a limited time life, anyways. Right, I mean, and and so since it is a Netflix original, it right they might know when it's coming, but Netflix gets a little touchy about its stuff, so mm -hmm. yeah, we'll see. Anyway. <laughs> Hey, guess what, folks? That's the end. Thank oh. God. <laughs> <coughs> Somewhat, somebody has to go finish celebrating their... Uh, their birthday. They're exiting their mama day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Contact info. Uh, uh, blog, CubsOutLoud.com. Email, CubsOutLoud.gmail.com. Uh, voicemail, 361-COL-TALK. That's 361-265-8255. Find us at Cubs Out Loud on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube. Join our on for chat at tinyurl.com slash telegram dol You can follow our calendar to find out when we're planning to uh, go live for these things at tinyurl.com slash calendar dash col. We got merch such as the Consent is My Foreplay shirt or a Cubs Out Loud hat. Uh, in fact, one of, our, uh, one of my players today had just recently got his... Um, uh, consent is my foreplay muscle shirt. Ooh. Di yes. Plenty of different ways to get, get these shirts. Uh, over at uh, Zazzle slash Cubs Out Loud in the appropriate place in Europe. Uh, you can also become a patron at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud where you can get the um, uh, uh, pre-shows. So I might do some editing because we had a interruption in our pre-show today. Uh, I might tag that on at least in the audio version. <laughs> um, you can also uh, let's see where are we that's at patreon.com slash comes out loud you can also send us some cash if you just want to give us a little bit of donation by going to paypal.me slash comes out loud uh, you can rate us on apple podcast and find us on google play uh, spotify and over on amazon music uh, you can find me anywhere in the internet it's box at box about the box uh, box something or other and on twitch for some B D and maybe in the very near future where uh shadowlands finally launches i will be streaming some uh world of warcraft at twitch.tv slash windgem that's w-y-n-d-g-e-m birthday boy cool <laughs> Uh, if you wish to get in touch with me, um, send me a happy birthday greeting or what have you. Uh, I am Theater Cub 79 on most bear related sites um, are on Facebook. Or you can find me as pup underscore Umbra on Twitter. The Twitter is definitely not safe for work. If you would like to find me online, you can pretty much find me anywhere as Gabber 73. Uh, the not safe for work Twitter is Gabber 73 XXX. And with that, 
Take it out, everybody. Good night, everybody. Ciao for now.